sponsored by Black Magic Design and by JMR Rentals, jmrny.com. All right, so I did get an opportunity to see The Death Tour, and it's a very well-made documentary. Very much cinema verite style for the most part. There are a couple of sit-down interviews, but many of the interviews are captured on the fly. The camera is a bystander on the tour, and we're riding along with these wrestlers and seeing what they go through. It's not very glamorous, uh, even though they are performers. We see these wrestlers as real people. Uh, We see them in and out of the ring, in and out of character. We also see the communities that the tour goes through, and we get a sense of what the people are like and what the environment's like. As the directors mentioned in the interview, the title of the Death Tour is a nickname given to the tour because it's so grueling and difficult, but here it has a double meaning. There are several suicides that happen uh, in the various communities that they travel through, one of which happens the day before they arrive, and this company of wrestlers is faced with these tragedies, and they have to decide how they're going to interact with the communities. For Sonia Ballantyne, it's a very personal documentary. She grew up in this world, largely made up of indigenous people, People in northern Manitoba. These filmmakers had to decide to what degree they were going to show these tragedies. Are they going to go to funerals, etc.? And I'm sure there were some tough conversations, but I think they made all the right decisions. They call attention to what's happening without sensationalizing it. And that's commendable. It's a very honest film and it pulls no punches. It's beautifully shot with some stunning cinematography from Van Royko. And despite the subject matter being quite dark at times, it's a very hopeful and inspirational film. The stories of these wrestlers are inspiring, and we we do feel a great deal for them. You don't have to be interested in wrestling uh, to appreciate this film. You don't have to be a football fan to like Hard Knocks. You don't have to be a Chicago Bulls fan to appreciate a series like The Last Dance. You just have to appreciate some great storytelling. Now, I would say the biggest question for a film like this is, will it get seen? Hopefully, it'll get distribution. Uh, I would say I highly recommend it if you can catch it at a film festival. Hopefully, it'll be on a streaming service or in a theater near you in the near future. (laughs) 